total. Lakers at the controls right now. Caldwell Pope to ball. Oh, they call the foul. Those cat-like hands almost got a steal. 17, Dennis Schroeder. Nope, this one does not go. He missed a pair of free throws. To Schroeder. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. Oklahoma City ball. Stuffs it down with authority. And I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Here's Schroeder with it. Leads just a point. Schroeder. To Paul George. Here's a chance from long range. Paul George locked in. Hits the tough three. And I just hear my high school coach preaching this thing to me every single day and it's still pertinent for the NBA. It's all about spacing. And when you have guys who are lethal three-point shooters and they understand spacing, oh, that whole floor opens up and that's a thing of beauty to watch. Oklahoma City's got it. Away. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a Laker. Paul George. And finishes strong. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this fourth quarter because the first three have lived up to the bill. It's no good. Great defense. 20-footer at the buzzer. Three quarters down. The fourth quarter coming up. Thunder with the lead. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Thunder with the basketball. George missed it. He always has the green light, but the defense was ready. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing them to change the angle or the position of that pocket. You're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Lonzo with it. The deficit is six. McGee powers it through. 
Some players are so cerebral. I'm not even paying attention to the dunk as much as I'm paying attention to the player pointing and communicating to everybody his team needs a guard on the next play down the court. Nothing going here on that drive. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a Laker. Adams. Big kick right there. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Seven. Lakers ball. Called well pull to James. He was hacked. They let it go. On the painted area, won't go down. Westbrook to George. Westbrook to Adams. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. Westbrook. To Adams. Right down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade the block in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ballgame. The shot turned away by Adams. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. He took a chance. That's the right call. Russell Westbrook, that's his fourth personal foul. Team foul. Ball to James. He connects. Sometimes you just have to go out there and make a tough play. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Cut it. Cut it on. He can't get past the defender. To Westbrook. Five seconds to shoot. Westbrook. Tough shot there for Westbrook. He always thinks it has a chance. LeBron James with the rock. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Westbrook with the basketball. His team up by seven. Yes, and a foul. Still have a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on the end one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Kyle Kuzma. Defense. Defense. To 
James. To Caldwell Pope. Kuzma. It's rejected by Noel. And it's not just about blocking shots. It's about the physicality of the game. How about on all these down screens, your bigs are pulling these guys off the screen, allowing you to catch up to the play defensively. That's why you're playing so well. Number 12, Steven Adams. Lonzo Ball with the run. Surveys the floor. Caldwell Pope to Ball. Deep left corner. James to Caldwell Pope. James buries it on the catch and shoot. That's what you like. That rip through right into the shot. That's smooth. Have to respect all elements of this game. Across the timeline comes James. His guys trail by 10. Jay Williams and our entire crew. I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Sports post game wrap up. The Thunder did what great teams do best finish. I could get into detail about their play calling and shot selection, but let's be honest. We all know that the dunks were the most exciting. I'd be surprised if the rim isn't a little bit bent at this point. guys who put up the most points for the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Lakers lost a tight one today, and you can see the disappointment. While they did put together quite a highlight reel of dunks in this matchup, they did not put together a win. As we all know, style points never show up on the scoreboard. Game track. Goals. Neither of these teams were able to make much of an impact on defense. As you can see here, they were each pretty successful with some efficient scoring. Player of the game. Paul George could not have been more impressive in this game. The way he scored the basketball looked like he was playing with kids in high school. makes it to the NBA is a great athlete, but even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Jalen Rose, signing out.